Hey, what's up, studs? Ryan here, or Eminem Impressions, and today we are taking a look at all three LEGO Star Wars ATAP models made to date. These three models are from 2008, 2014, and 2019, respectively. If you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these ATAPs, and you can always vote on the poll on the top right and tell me which one is your favorite. Now, since this is my first comparison video I've done in a while, I do have a new rating system for comparisons, and I hope to keep this for a long time if not forever i think it's a pretty good rating system so that at the end of the comparison video we can have a clear winner as to what is the best the second best and in this case the third best set of the comparison videos so it runs on five different categories minifigures playability overall design value and mnr opinion in each of these categories a set can earn n number of points where n equals number of sets in the video so if we're talking minifigures and just for an example i say the 2008 atap has the the best minifigures the 2014 has the second best and the 2019 has the third best or the worst minifigure selection then the 2008 ATAP would receive three points the 2014 ATAP would receive two points and the 2019 ATAP would receive just one point at the end after we get through all five categories their totals will be tallied up and we'll get a total points for each different set and then with that point total we will be able to rank them so in this way I hope to give a more clear and concise rating on each set as well well as give you an idea of where these sets stack up against each other in different categories. So let's get started with our first category, and that is minifigures. The 2008 ATAP Walker included just two minifigures. You got a pair of shock troopers, which are basically the regular Episode 3 clone trooper with some fancy red markings, and they don't look too shabby. It's also the only set where the shock troopers had white hip pieces instead of black hip pieces. I, I don't think any other clone trooper has had white hips. They typically have black hips or have different printed colors hips but this is very odd to see white hips on these shock troopers but i will admit that it does kind of look cool to have the white hips it's just something that looks way different than the clone troopers normally do the 2014 atap really stepped up the game with five minifigures a battle droid a commander battle droid who had some pretty cool yellow markings on there you also got a super battle droid which wasn't anything fancy or new at the time but it's still a nice inclusion to give the separatists a little bit more firepower against that atap and then on your good guys side of the minifigures there commander gree who looks spectacular and then Chief Tarful, who also looks absolutely spectacular. So great minifigs on the 2014 ATAP. Moving on to 2019, we see Commander Gree return alongside a Kashyyyk clone trooper, Chewbacca, and a pair of Kashyyyk battle droids, which actually look really good. So as far as the rankings, this is probably going to be the toughest one for me to do. The minifigures in all these sets honestly are really good. I feel like each set though is lacking one minifigure to fill out the ATAP because the ATAP on the inside has two seats and then they also have the gunner turret on top so you can fit three clone troopers inside of this and none of those sets fulfill that i would say the closest one to fulfilling that is the 2008 atap but it doesn't give you any bad guys to fight back against the atap i would say the atap with the best minifigure selection would be the 2014 atap the second best minifigure selection going to the 2019 atap and the worst minifigure selection going to the 2008 atap not that i dislike the shock troopers it's just that there isn't anything other than shock troopers and at that there aren't even enough to fill out every seat for your ATAP. Moving on to our next category of playability, we're going to take a closer look and play around with these ATAPs so I can give you an idea of what the good playability features are and what the bad playability features are. Let's bring it in close. Starting out with the playability of the 2008 model here, we have a giant turret on top that can move up and down and then the seat on the top with the extra cannon can move around 360 degrees which is very cool. It does hit things if you don't have this in a downward position so you do have to be careful with that but it does have that nice feature there again you get a lot of movement with that you can really shoot down some some droid gunships with that and you can also place your shock trooper in the seat up there so he's not going to have any trouble fitting it's just a regular lego seat on top of that thing with a steering wheel the steering wheel looks a little bit out of place in star wars always has um, obviously they don't really put steering wheels in star wars sets anymore those days are pretty much gone but it does look kind of out of place here so we'll give it a knock for that but i'm sure some kids really enjoyed using the steering wheel uh, for the atap there but it does look nice it does play well um no complaints there. You can also move this cannon up and down uh, individually from that. So no complaints about that. Now we'll take him out of there because we are going to have to get to the interior here and inside some little playability bits inside as well. You also do have these hatches on the outside that can open up. No surprise there. You have this little lever here for steering the ATAP, I suppose, although you do have the steering wheel on top, which is awkward, but you can place your figures in there. 
So I guess that's playability and he does have a control panel. There's another little seat on the other side for your other shock trooper to fit in. And like I said, there's three seats on this set. However, there's only two troopers to fill them, which is the disappointing part about the minifigure selections. So I'll drop him on in there. I guess you could have picked up a battle pack, right? That was the point. Drop him in there. No problem. There is also, if you can pull these panels out like this, there is also a little gun rack there. It's a very awkward gun rack. It's not a very nice looking one. It's just a couple of clips with a lime green tile on top, but it is effective enough to hold your weapons for your shock troopers while they're in the heat of battle or rather piloting the ATAP. If they were in the heat of battle, they would probably want those. But yeah, you can you have the same flap on this side and you just drop this back down. It's a little fidgety. It's a little bit tough to get to work sometimes. It's not very smooth because it uses those like rough technic hinges, but it does work. You can close the lid there and there you go. You have your troopers on the inside. This gun down here does not rotate at all. These feet do move like this third leg here moves up and down it's the most posable of the three i would say and then you can also have it hinge up down underneath and you can attach it to the bottom side there so it does attach on there so you can give it the two leg design and pieces like to fall off we'll get to that in the overall design segment of this the legs the hind legs do have some posability as well so you can have it like that Playability. So, playability on the Fields and 8 ATAP, not bad, just there's nothing insane. No crazy killer features on there. No flick fire missiles, no stud shooters, no spring loaded missiles. So, not good, but not bad. 2014 saw some big changes for the ATAP, and we got a lot more playability out of this set. Now, while there is only one clone trooper included to man your ATAP, you can have him man the ATAP in a variety of different positions. There's a new redesigned seat on top, which looks much, much better that you can put Commander Green to. Now, you might have an issue where you might run into hitting that spring-loaded shooter on top, but that is also a cool feature. You can just push down on the spring-loaded shooter, and it shoots off. Commander Green can sit in that seat. It also has the adjustable headrest there, which I do really like. The other good thing about this particular turret design is it has this little clip in the back. And what that allows you to do is basically you can have it clipped in or you can take the clip off and then it's free to move. So that's actually really good. It gives you the ability to store this set or move it around without this thing going crazy, or you can just have it like that and now it's not going to move anywhere which is nice kind of locked in place this cannon doesn't move unlike the older version that did allow it to move up and down this cannon is stuck in place unless of course you move it up with that or move it with the legs of the atap itself the interior of this atap is much more spacious than what we saw in 2014 opening it up will reveal quite a lot more space or at least what feels like a lot more space it's definitely a much more refined space which is nice you do have some control panels inside which are nice for playability so you do get like extra little bits there there is supposed to be a control panel right here however it's fallen out and i don't know where it is so just accept that that's supposed to be there uh but yeah your troopers can go in there very easily you can take commander Gree, for example here and place him down on the seat unfortunately again you don't get enough troopers to really fill out this atap i guess you can take uh chief tarful here and sit him down and put him inside but it's still just a little bit awkward not having a clone trooper in there in my opinion you can close that up no problems Close that up. And just like that, your ATAP is looking spiffy. The turret underneath does move around, which is nice, or whatever this is supposed to be, cannon, weapon. It does move around, has a great possibility here on a, on a joint, on a couple joints, really. It's got a couple different angles of motion. So very cool little turret underneath. The legs are posable as well. So you have this third leg, which is the most posable leg once again. These other two hind legs move on the, the tighter hinges. And then you can also take this leg and tuck it up underneath and have it there for storage or just out of the way for when it's in its two-legged position, which is nice. It does have a nice little bit underneath here. I can grab this in the right way to show you. This basically is what you put down to hold it in position, and then it's not going to really want to go anywhere once you have that locked in like that. So that leg is not coming out, which is nice. So that's the 2014 ATAP. If we grab the 2019 ATAP, we're going to see some more changes as far as playability and design go. The 2019 model sees a lot of the same playability options as you had on the 2014 model. You, of course, have the spring-loaded shooter up top. Bing! You have the same seat on the back there with the adjustable rest. You have a little control panel there as well, which is very similar, if not the same, to what we had on the previous version. You have these panels here that open up that we've had on all three models. These do not actually open up, surprisingly, so you actually lose a little bit of functionality, playability there. You can't get into the interior as easily. You can only open these hatches 
latches or open up this top lid all the way. On the inside of here, you're gonna find a rehashed uh, control panel in the center there. It just has a slight recoloring, but for the most part, it's exactly the same. The stickers aren't much different, if different at all either. Very similar design for the interior. And then of course you have the seats where you can actually place in your figures. It's actually a lot more cramped in this interior, in my opinion, than I think it has or had been in years past. And there's no like gun rack or anything, although the 2014 version did not have a gun rack either, but the 2008 version did, which was nice, as much of a pain as it can be sometimes to, to take them out of there. But there you go, you can get your figures in there. You can fit them in there, no problem. Close up the top and there you go. Um, the hind legs move just like the previous versions like that. And then of course the front leg here does move around. It's the most poseable, it's got a lot of joints and then it actually folds up underneath the ATAP just like the other ones as the lid falls back. That's annoying. Uh, so yeah, you just kind of fit it in right there, close that and just like that, your little leg there is not going anywhere. You can close that just like that, no problem. So the playability on this one just isn't at quite as much as it is on the 2014 version. So for that reason, the way I'm gonna rank the playability is I'm gonna put this one smack dab in the middle. I'm gonna put the 2008 ATAP as the worst for playability. And the 2014 ATAP is going to easily have the best playability. So that's gonna be one point for 2008, two points for 2019, and three points for the 2014 version. The overall design is one of the more subjective categories we have here. I believe that the 2019 version is going to be the most accurate ATAP to date. It just has a slightly different profile to it. You see from the side profile, it's a little bit more uh, sloped than the 2014 version and the 2008 version. Possibly the 2008 version actually slopes a little bit more downwards, but this one's like nicely in between. A lot of the stickers on this one are the same as we saw in 2014, if not just slightly changed. You can see that that black one just slightly changed. The 2008 version, while it does have some printed tiles there, lacks a lot of the other details that the other new ATAPs have, which are very, very nice. A lot of the siding detail is also much more refined as opposed to what we see in the original 2008 ATAP. For that reason, the 2008 ATAP is going to have the worst overall design. The color scheme isn't quite there yet because we have a lot of lime, lighter green colors, and we're just missing a lot of the simpler details that we see in the newer versions. So the 2008 model gets one point for this category. And then as far as the 2014 versus the 2009, 19 ATAP there. We'll just slide this one out of the way because now we're just taking a look at these two. I really do like the 2019 one just slightly better. I think it has that more accurate look to it. It looks a little bit less bulky than the 2014 version. And of course, the feet are going to be the big difference there with the 45 degree angles. It's a very cool build system they were able to work in there to get those feet to look more accurate than they did in years past. And they've done a great job with that. And for that reason, 2019 is going to get the nod for the best overall design as opposed to the 2014 model. So for this category, three points, two points, and one point to our lowly loser over there. And it's not looking too good for the 2008 model in this comparison. We should be able to hit our last two categories here rather quickly back to back. The first one being the value for each set. On the left, released in 2008 for $40, which is probably about $47 in today's money. We have a 392 piece set, which isn't bad on the price per piece, but it is a little bit more than 10 cents per piece. The middle one here from 2014 has 700. 17 pieces for $60, probably somewhere around 63, 64, counting inflation that is. And then with 2019, we have $60 for 689 pieces. I would say that none of these at the time of their release presented a bad value. This is actually the toughest one for me to pick a winner. And I don't really see a clear winner here. And for that reason, I'm going to declare it a tie. I think each of them at the time of release has presented a fair value to the consumer and none of them feel overpriced and none of them stand out against the others as a very well-priced set against the others. So I'm going to declare this one a tie. So and moving into the final category here, we have the MNR opinion and I'll give you the tally of the score here. 2008 has three, 2014 has eight, and 2019 has seven points. So this one could decide a lot here as far as what happens between these two sets. So my opinion is that the 2014 version looks really bad now. Just compared to the other two, it just does not look very good. Um, the minifigures are nice and everything. The price was fair. $40 was a great price for an ATAP. However, it 
just doesn't look that good anymore. And that's where I'm at on that. So that one's going to get the worst ranking. It does have those printed tiles, but that's just obviously not going to be enough looking at these two behemoths. Now the 2014 model brought a much needed upgrade to the ATAP. Some very nice colors, some nice stickers, as much as I hate stickers. You have great minifigures down here. The legs were very nicely redesigned. It's a very sturdy build. You have a very spacious interior. You have good features and just really overall a very nice, well put together set. Now, its counterpart here in this little competition, the 2019 version has a slightly more accurate design. It's got the webbed feet in the correct orientation at the 45 degree angles. It's got these new Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Droids. It's got more good guy figures, which I'm all for in a good guy set. I want enough figures to fill out enough of my seats or all of my seats. There's three seats. There's three good guy figures as much as I don't want to put Chewbacca in there. That does count, I suppose, versus only one clone trooper in this ATAP walker. So I, I think for my personal opinion, Opinion, I think the 2019 version is better than the 2014 version and it pains me to say it because I didn't want them to make another ATAP but they did improve upon the old version they just they did it's simple um, the price per piece is a little bit worse than the old one but it is not considerably worse at all it's maybe like a couple tenths of a cent per piece less so no huge complaint there at all $60 for 689 pieces and $60 for 717 pieces does not make a difference to me the difference here is in the minifigs and the accuracy of the design in the 2019 model gets the nod on that behalf. So I did give each set one point for the tie that they got in the last round, and this is our final tally. The 2008 version has 5 points, the 2014 version has 11 points, and the 2019 version has 11 points. So the 2008 version is half as good as these versions pretty much from from what we've taken away from here unfortunately the 2008 version just doesn't hold up anymore as much as i like that set back in the day it just doesn't hold up the 2019 version and 2014 version are both really really good i would say that given that my opinion is higher of the 2019 version that i even though they're tied i would say the 2019 version is better just because my opinion says it's better so if that makes any sense the 2019 version in my opinion is very very slightly better than the 2014 version if only for its accuracy and slightly better minifigure selection god i love those kashyyyk battle droids i might actually get a few more of those maybe they'll come in a battle pack next year Ooh! but this has been my comparison of the three lego star wars at ap walkers let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about these sets what has lego done right and what has lego done wrong with each of them let me know on the poll on the top right you can vote for which one you think is the best obviously i think the 2018 version is the best but maybe you think something else so you're more than welcome to vote on the poll it's there for a reason and if you did enjoy the video give it a like if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more lego star wars videos videos and reviews and comparisons. I'll be doing more comparisons now that uh, I have this new format and I actually really like what I've got going on here. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you all for watching. This has been the ATAP Walker comparison video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.